What's up my friends? What is going on? As you guys know, I love to try out candies and snacks and all sorts of other things when I go travel, but this time, because of the quarantine, of course, I am locked inside, but I got my hands on some French candy, and I'm really freaking excited because I've been to France a couple of times, yet I've never had the opportunity to try some of their candy. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. But let's go right ahead and let's get this list started with our friends. Twin nuts. It's quite a great start. It looks like it's bacon flavored. It seems to be like some little nut shaped thing or I don't know, roasted nuts, but kind of interesting. Never seen anything like this. Let's go right ahead and test it out. Ooh. Do you guys see that? That is absolutely tiny. I love the crunch. And you know what? It tastes like salted peanuts, but it's hollowed out inside and they look so freaking cool. I actually saw a broken one in here. Oh, actually it's not hollow. It actually does have the nut inside. That's interesting. I did not see that. I love the roasted nut flavor. And on top of that, like the bacon on top of it, mm -mm -mm. like perfection to the finest, a solid 10 out of 10. These are so good. Up next, we're gonna be trying out something by the company Lou. And this is the Veritable Petit Collier. All right, my French is not polished. All right, as you may have noticed. I have no idea what this is. It kind of feels like rye bread because I feel like chunks here, but I don't know. Do French can eat rye bread? Is that a thing in France? I think it's a European thing in general, maybe. What? Yep, completely wrong. Completely, completely wrong. So I know that these traveled across the globe and they got a little bit melted in the process, but that's fine. You know what, it kind of reminds me of like a Pop-Tart due to the fact that it's melted like this. So let me see if I can even separate one. Or wait, no. Is it supposed to be like this? I guess I'm gonna be that fat ass on the internet that just tries to bite the whole chunk. Let's do it. Getting all dirty on the internet. Not the best look. It's like that butterscotch cookie that everyone loves and then on top of that they put chocolate on it. So it's just like the icing on top, literally. Another solid 10 out of 10. Moving on, we're gonna be checking out these little cubes here called a uh, souk chart. Souk, souk, souk chart? Same as before, they're super melted. So this is gonna be quite messy. And of course I chose to wear a white shirt. Like, what am I thinking? Ooh, that is absolutely melted. Like I am getting like greasy fingers like up. Like, do you guys see that? Like that's just nasty. Let's see if I can show you guys how, how incredibly melted this thing is. All right, so let's try to keep it in the paper so I don't ruin anything. So I, I don't even know what to expect because clearly it only comes in this little packaging here. I'm gonna assume it's just good chocolate. That was definitely much sweeter than I imagined. Like it is very, very sweet chocolate and it has like some sort of like nuts in there. I'm gonna say peanuts as a matter of fact, but I think it tastes really delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate to begin with, but overall I'm gonna say this right here is probably meant for a lot of chocolate lovers. I'm gonna say a solid eight out of 10, a great, great job. Up next, I'm gonna be checking out something that we all know as Haribo's, but apparently it seems like every single country has their own version of it. This one right here is Orangina and then it says Peak. And it looks like it's either like chicken legs or maybe some sort of like soda bottle. I don't know. You know what? They actually kind of look like drumsticks now that I think about it. But I usually tend to like a lot of things that Haribo makes, so hopefully this will not be an exception. I love the color red. That's probably red. Mm. Yes, yes. And just the right amount. Just to be extra sure I like it, I'm gonna try the other one too. Approved. You know what, sometimes I get like my taste buds mixed up so I can't tell if it's sour or if it's sweet, but regardless of the fact, it has just the right amount of everything. I think these taste delicious and they're just like the perfection of like the gummy. I don't know why I like gummies, dude. It's so weird. But up next, we're gonna be checking out something by Nesta, which is one of my favorite chocolate companies. And this is called Sunday. Uh, it looks like a granola bar type thing. Like kind of looks like oatmeal on top or some sort of cereal. And then it has chocolate at the very bottom. So nice, okay. Oh, nice. Voila. Look at that. Pretty good. Let's try it out. Definitely much more crunch than I imagined. And I'm not the biggest fan of it. Kind of reminds me of like Nature Valley and I wouldn't necessarily call this like a, like, I don't know. I feel like a snack, it's just kind of insulting or I guess it's a snack. It's not a, not a candy in my opinion. Not the biggest fan. I'm gonna go right ahead and say it's a seven out of 10. 
Not bad, I just wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. We're also gonna be trying something once again by the company Nesto. This one is called Nuts. <laughs> go figure. Doesn't seem like there's anything too complicated about it. It does seem like some sort of hazelnut there, uh, at least from what I see there on the packaging. I don't speak French, so I don't know. Mm. Ah, it's a chalky one. Great. Mmm. Oh, man. All right. They surprised me, and it seems like they put some caramel in there. Like, nice. I don't even know what to call like this little white paste there. Like it's just kind of like the filling of it kind of reminds me of like a Milky Way in the sense that it's just like so caramelly, so so easy to bite into. It just kind of like melts as you bite in. It tastes delicious. The little caramel thing on the inside there, or maybe that is the nut itself and I just don't recognize it because I'm mentally slow or something. But I'm gonna go right ahead and say this is a solid eight out of 10. Up next, we're gonna be trying out these Tootsie roll looking things over here. So I think I'm gonna take like a general bite out of each one just to kind of like balance it out and see how they taste. Let's start out with the with the mystery one here. Oh, citron, something a citron. I believe that's a uh, citrus for French people. Is it lemon? It's a lemon. Ooh, all right. So it looks like a piece of chalk. Not the healthiest, but I'll whirl with it. The flavor is very subtle. There's nothing too intense about it. Like, I feel like it's one of the like, kids candy. Yep. And not, not that that makes it wrong in any way, but it's definitely not intense whatsoever. Let me see, maybe I have better luck with the red one here. Let's see what this one says. This one says, Freize, which should be strawberry. This one is like a Laffy Taffy. It's like pink and look, they're bendable. Nice. Let's go right ahead, let's bite off a chunk. Even though that one is just as light as the lemon one, like, I don't know why, but mm. like the flavor just, Lasts a little bit longer, it just tastes better. It might just be me being biased. I'm a big fan of strawberry flavored things. I mean, can, can you really blame me? Taking both of them into consideration, I'd be more likely to pick up this one. So I'm gonna base it upon this one and give it a solid eight out of 10. Great job. Up next, we're gonna be trying something again by Lou. And this one is called Mikado. I actually have a sushi place around me called that. And I don't know why, but it seems like this type of thing has gotten like very popular like in every single country. I remember being back in high school, like all like the anime nerds were like into this. And like, once again, if you like anime, good for you. But all of like the weird anime kids, they were like a big fan of this. If I'm not mistaken, they were called Pocky or something anyways, they're, they're, they're those. Those right there. Yep, looks just like. Has a little easy convenience at the top. Voila, that's how you open it like a pro. And of course, the entire chunk got melted together. So yeah, I just made a whole mess. That's cool too. So let me see, what can I break off from here? So it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to break off an individual piece. So I'm just gonna get a big chunk like this, just as I did before. And hopefully, you know, you guys won't judge me. Let's give it a shot. Now, from what I see in the illustration, it looks like I'm supposed to have a little bit of like nuts in there as well, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe it's just blending with the chocolate. I don't know how that really works out, but regardless of the fact, I gotta admit it, it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna go right ahead and give this a nine out of 10. Oh man, look at this. Talk about French. It's called La Madeleine d'Amour, which I'm assuming means the Madeleine of love. So that's, that's pretty cute. It's like a little loaf of bread. Oh, I get it. I think this is supposed to be Madeline's hat. Like, you know, the, the, the little, the little thing. Either that or it's some sort of speedboat. Very soft, very textured, but you know what? I don't know what it is about this. It doesn't taste all that good. It truly doesn't. I had really high expectations for this one. Like at first, when I first bit into it, like it just felt like a rusty old pipe. Like it did not taste good. But then as I progressed, like, yeah, it got softer, it got mushier. And I guess it got some of its flavor back. Like, I don't know if it's just been sitting in this little package for way too long, but I had higher expectations out of this. I'm so sad about that. I'm gonna go right ahead and say this is a seven out of 10. But regardless of the fact, I still think this was a phenomenal choice. And I wanna hear from you guys. Like, is this stuff that you ate as a kid, which is your favorite one? Do you still currently eat them? I don't know. If you felt like I was missing something here, make sure you're dropping those comments down below. Or you know what? Maybe you're a person of action and you'd rather take control of a full episode and I would applaud you for that. Bam, right there, that's a peel box. You can go right ahead and send me everything from a postcard to a handwritten letter or snacks and candies and everything else in between. Just please let me know if you happen to send something. I would love to personally thank you. But thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me here today. And until next time, my amigos, hasta la pasta. And I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side. Peace from the Middle East. Bye.